Hello. How are you guys? I hope everybody's okay. I love you. This is uh, lecture number 97. And we're going to talk about something that's a little bit unusual, a little bit different. We're going to talk about devils, demons, and angels or guides. Now, there's two different things, two complete different things. We have on the one hand, we have evil. We have on the other hand, good. We have on the one hand, impurity or bad. We have on the other hand, purity or goodness. Now, how can we talk about these two things? Well, first of all, let's talk, let's get the bad news out of the way. We got bad news and good news. We've got demons or devils and we've got angels. I think my dog wants out. Can you hold on one second? Come on, come on, come on back. Come on, come on. All right, you never know what's gonna happen in these videos. So, bear wanted out. Teddy was out, so bear wanted out too. That's Teddy and the bear, okay. Now, let's talk about devils and demons. Are they in the world? I don't know. I've never met one. I've never confronted one. I don't have the faith in believing that they're all over the place. I think there are people that are being evil but I don't think there are evil people. There's a difference. I don't think there are devils and demons such as that should keep you up at night worrying. Now listen, you guys, kids, listen to dad. Listen, I don't want you to sit up at night wondering what's spooky in the dark. Ghosts, goblins, devils, demons, imps, little creatures. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you, why? Because. You don't want to give playing time to that. You don't need to. Philosophically speaking, the philosophy of how you see the world, you shouldn't want to sit around and think about nasty, terrible things like demons and devils and evil little creatures. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now, instead, purify your heart. Purify it. Keep, keep your elevated thoughts higher than these low-life, creepy, creepy creatures of the night. Don't do it. I know a lot of, I know a girl that used to believe that she was raped by an impetus. Yeah, I know that sounds creepy, but she believed this evil spirit came in at night when she was younger and used to rape her in the bed. And I tried to convince her, no, 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 that didn't happen, and she believed it. So she was all caught up in that. Now. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna conject too much, but I'm gonna tell you this: Don't give stuff like that playing time. Don't give superstition, evil, terrible, negative thoughts. Don't give it playing time, kids. Listen to your dad. Don't give it playing time in your life. Don't spend time thinking about these kind of things. Elevate your thoughts, your consciousness, up higher. Do that, okay? Now. Let's give the good news now, because there's got to be always a bad news. If there's bad news, there's got to always be good news, because philosophically speaking, life is a balance. There's, there's negative and there's positive. There's optimism and pessimism. It's not a perfect world, but it's not a terrible world either. It's a balanced world of the mind, the body, the social, and the spiritual. It's balance. Okay? So now let's talk about the good news. This is what I believe. I believe we all have an angel watching over us that's with us i believe we have a guardian you can call it an angel you can call it a guardian you want to, whatever you want to call it we have a spirit being that watches over us now you might say well you don't believe you never saw the devil or the demon so why do you, did you ever see an angel no i never have but i sense it i feel it i feel the presence i feel the presence of not being alone it's great, it's great. I would not make it through the night if I did not, did not believe that I was in the company of God and spirit beings that were good. It's easier to get through the night. It's easier to get through your days. I want you to think that way. This is philosophy 101. This is your basic philosophy of living life. You either want to 
absorb negative things and let those absorb your life and take over and control your life or let positive things come in and take over and control your life. Now, you guys, I love you more and more and more all the time. You know that. Daddy loves you. Daddy Abdullah, slave of God, loving you guys all the time. When I'm not doing videos and talking to you, I'm praying for you and meditating for you and crying tears for you. Ever since last June of last year, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and January, and now February, you guys have been my heart, mind, and soul. You guys in Africa, you're mine. My business cards are coming in a couple days. I'm going to give them out all over the place. Africa, we love you. Dot com. Africa, we love you. LLC, the YouTube. Okay. Let's go back to the lesson. Here's the lesson. Don't give playing time to evil spirits, demons, devils. Don't do it. Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub. Don't give that playing time. Don't let your life, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit be absorbed in that. Rather, allow the possibility that we're never alone. First of all, God is everywhere. There's no place God is not. I always tell you that. Second of all, God doesn't do all the work itself, himself, herself. God is pronoun neutral. So we always say him, but you could say he or she. It doesn't matter. Pronoun neutral, God. So understand that God has spirit beings that are incorporated to work on behalf of God. I believe, and I'm a, I'm a Catholic in my orientation. I'm Catholic. There's 1.1 billion of us. We believe in angels. We believe we all have a guardian angel, and I believe that. Uh, Muslims, 88% of all Muslims believe in angels. Uh, it's not unusual to believe in angels. Almost all Americans believe in angels. I believe in angels. I believe that we have guardian angels watching over us. Now, it's one thing to believe, but it's another thing to live your life in the practice of knowing every day you're watched over and you're protected and you're guarded and you're cared for and you're loved by beings that are from God. Think about that. Okay, devils and angels, demons and the angels, good guys, the bad guys, guardians, evil spirits. That's what we're talking about right now. I don't want you to dwell. I don't want your minds to dwell on the negative. Don't do it. Dwell on positive, loving, caring, significant, helpful, meaningful, purposeful ideas like that. I love each and every one of you guys. All you girls out there, all you boys out there, all my students, I love you all. And all you that want to come into the class, maybe you're on the waiting list now, hang in there with me. I'm trying to work something out. Okay? I love you guys. Okay. Let's hang in there together, okay? Remember, spirit, spirit is from God. God is love. God's everywhere. There's no place that God is not. How long have you been standing here, God? Forever. Where are we from? We're from God. God is the ocean. We're a ripple in the ocean. We're a thimble of water in the ocean. We're, we're part of God. We're created from God. We're spirit beings. And we're also guarded and guided, guided by spirit beings who are angelic in nature. Call them guardians, call them guides, call them whatever you want. We're loved. We're loved, you guys. You're never alone. You're never alone. So as we practice our mind, our body, our social, and our spiritual balance in life, just remember in the whole process, you're never alone. Daddy loves you. I'm always going to love you. Always. Love you. Talk to you later.